MMA News Canada here at the Shaw Conference Center. Carlin Armstrong doing it big with Martin Cadman here today. Uh, Martin, I just want to touch on a couple of things. Um, obviously, uh, you've had two really closely contested battles in your last two fights against uh, Jake Shields and uh, as well as Diego Sanchez, respectively. Um, give me some of your thoughts on uh, your next opponent and uh, maybe hint towards a rematch or kind of what's going on in, uh, in your world right now. Yeah, well, uh, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't have my next fight set up yet. But uh, of course, I'd like to fight Diego again. I thought I, I won the fight. I felt that I, I won the fight hands down. I feel like I got the better of him. But um, uh, we'll see what happens. You know, uh, if uh, we match in the books, you know, it's really up to me. It's uh, up to the UFC. But uh, I'm definitely down. So uh, hopefully Diego will step up and uh, we can make it round four. Well, man, after that first uh, that first fight that you guys had, it was obviously a it was a fucking war. We're not, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to pull any punches, and you guys sure as hell didn't. I would love to see a rematch. I think it would be a great thing. Um, what do you think maybe about getting uh, possibly matched up for uh, June or July, maybe even on uh, the UFC Vancouver card, uh, number two in, in Vancouver for UFC? Yeah, you know, I had a great time fighting in Vancouver last time, and uh, I'm not sure what card I'm going to be on, or, but uh, I'm definitely looking at, a, at around an early summer uh, turn, you know. So, Making a return? Yeah. I think uh, I think uh, a good look would be to have you back in Western Canada, man. I know you put in a great performance there as well uh, last time. We love having you out. Um, what's your overall Canadian experience coming north of the border, man? Man, I'm always having a good time over here in Canada. I know uh, up here the guys in Edmonton always take good care of me, and uh, Vancouver I had a good time as well. You know, and this is my second time in Edmonton, man. I, I, I like it here. It's, it's uh, everybody's real cool and. Uh, I've been having a good time every time I've been here. Well, we really respect having you out. I know that you're here on a good cause for the MS Society of Canada yeah, yeah. Um, with, uh, in, in uh, cohorts with uh, Kamikaze Punishment. Um, it's obviously a, you know, a really big charity, and it's a, it's a really good look, man, um, for your image, and obviously uh, trying to give back to the community. Yeah, the Kamikaze guys, you know, they're doing a great uh, job supporting uh, and promoting the MS uh, Society and their, uh, their cause, you know, so... I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to support a good cause, and uh, it's great to be here. <laughs> All right, man. I'm gonna actually uh, get get your thoughts on some of uh, the evolution of the sport. We've seen the sport come so far. We've seen the growth and development of the sport come so far. Um, do you think that the the ten point must system, the boxing scoring system that we have in place for mixed martial arts today, do you feel like it's become a little bit complacent and it, it hasn't really evolved much with the sport? Uh, I think uh, there's a lot of, uh, I think the 10 point must system is made for, uh, you know, uh, 12 rounds boxing fights in it, and, uh, and I think it's, uh, it's uh, inad inad sometimes it's inadequate for the MMA fights because it's, it's three rounds fights, and uh, uh, I mean, I don't have a better solution right now, but I'm sure there's, there's better there's way to There's somebody out there that might, right, because... Uh, the UFC and, uh, and mixed martial arts in general, the sports in, in overall, is much more advanced and much more technical than a boxing match. And that's not to take anything away from boxing, but there's, I'm just saying that there's so much more diversity. Uh, there's so many more things that can happen in MMA. So this is kind of like uh, we need to see something maybe happen uh, with regards to the scoring system and maybe bring it up to date as well. well. I'm, a, I'm a big boxing fan as well. I think boxing is a great sport and, uh, you know, sweet science, technical. Sweet science, you know, I love watching boxing, but... Uh, uh, boxing and MMA is different, and I think uh, you know right now the scoring system uh, it, uh, doesn't translate as well to MMA as it does to boxing. You know where there, there's way more rounds, and uh, I think it could be made uh, more efficient. You know there's always going to be uh, controversial decisions. You know because there's always going to be a subjective uh, opinion on who won the fight. But I think you could. Uh, I think it could be done better. When, when fights go the distance and they're in the hands of the judges, yeah. nobody else really gets a say, right? No, there, so Nobody will ever going to be happy, you know, if it's a close fight. But I think it could still be made uh, better, yeah. Absolutely. Um, I just want to get some of your thoughts maybe on uh, the uh, the UFC putting on a show in Ontario and what you think of uh, the main event, obviously, George St. Pierre, Jake Shields. Um, give me some of your thoughts on how you see that fight breaking down and, and what it means uh, to be involved in the UFC right now with such a stacked division. I oh, mean, I, I love fighting for UFC, you know, it's a dream come true and, um, you know, it started out as a hobby for me and I'm just uh, feel fortunate being able to make a living doing what I love to do, you know, so uh, I'm very happy fighting for the UFC and uh, uh, Jake Shields and uh, GSP, I think, uh, you know, Jake Shields, he can put anybody in trouble if he gets on top of them, you know, he's got great uh, top game jiu-jitsu, 
but uh, I think he's going to have a very hard time taking uh, GSP down. And uh, on the feet, uh, George is going to pick him apart. But uh, I think, uh, yeah, Jake's chances are pretty slim, but you can never count on anybody. You know, I'm looking forward to watching the fight. That's I for think, sure. I think a lot of people are underestimating Jake Shields because uh, outside of the diehard MMA community, not too many people know and respect Jake Shields' credentials and his background. So it is a, it is a actually really great matchup. It's really big for uh, Ontario, obviously, to have those two compete. Um, I can't wait to see you back in action, man. Uh, looking forward to uh, you know your next competitor. You've been facing the top level guys since uh, since you made your you know debut back in 2006 uh, with the rear naked choke victory first round the UFC. So you're always fighting the top of the class, man. You always put in a Doing great a little performance. Research. <laughs> yeah, man. No, I. You know what, man? I've been following the sport for so long. Thank I'm you. a fighter and I'm a fan, and I just appreciate your time today, man. Thank you, man. Appreciate the support. Thank you for coming out, and it's obviously for a very good cause Thanks with association with. Uh, Kamikaze Punishment yep. and the uh, Multiple Sclerosis Society of Canada. So thanks for coming out, man. Thanks for having me. MMA News Canada, having the chance to catch up with the hitman, Martin Kamen. Let's get you back in the octagon, man, and see what you uh, see what you can come back. Are you still working with uh, Extreme Couture? Yeah. Still All right, so great camp out of uh, Las Vegas, and we can't wait to see you back, man. MMA News Canada, baby, we got it all.